Yeah. This place, huh? Knife one. Yes, sir. We got LB Sickner. We got Lil Flip. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I'm the realest to do this. I'm a G in these streets and you sweeter than cool whip. I'm a scholar to the game. I'm most of your clueless. Crossing me, that would be foolish. Because I'm a beast. I'm a dog. I'm a problem. I'm a sicker. I'm a sicker. In these streets, I'm a boss. I got them. Sicko, we and T. Nice one. Yo, what's happening, y'all? This is Bone. Both of us are motherfucking harmless. Man, you already know what it is, man. It's Red Guy Chucky. There's a big cherry bear. Cricket the gift in this bitch. You already know. What it is, man. This is nonsense. Yo, this is Jay Bizarre, and you're watching this just music. Yo, it's your boy Ashby, the king of Cleveland. This is down the grind. What's up? You got Razor Ray and Motel Rage rising up angry and St. Clown Possums. Crazy, crazy rock and roll for show. AKA Dog Genius. You're watching it's just music with Sicko ENT. Yo, it's Hair Trigger, and it's just music. Hey, what's up? I'm Tom Putnam. I'm one of the directors of the ICP documentary, The United States of Insanity. It's like, this is Rock and Rob. AKA Chris Nonsense, AKA Nonsense is Door Genius. And you're watching this just music, stick on entertainment. If you ain't on it, get on it. Don't be a dumb motherfucker. It's just music. And you know when I'm vibing, when I'm vibing out, man, you know I gotta watch. When I'm really watching the interviews and these podcasts, man, you know, man, it's just music with Sicko Entertainment, man. That's what I'm paying attention to. And you're listening to It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. It's AKA. Nah, I'm just playing. You already know what it is, man. Listen, we are listening to. Two. And of course, we can watching It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. With Sicko ENT. Bang, 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 bang. Guys, this is Waycast. It's Just Music, and you're watching Sicko ENT with Signature Series Network. With Sicko ENT on the Signature Series Network. Hey, it's Alex Jaffe, and you're watching It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. You're watching It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. Tap in. What's cracking, everybody? It's your boy Bobby Mars, and you are in tune with It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. What's going on, y'all? AC Killer in the building. Fire all the heat, man. You already know, man. We're turning up, man. Very rich entertainment. Harmony House. Yo, this is Diesel Water. And you watching It's Just Music with Sicko Entertainment. Then in Miles Productions, you watching It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. Hey, yay. Stay motherfucking Dennett. What's up, y'all? It's Jimmy the Gunner, man. And y'all tuned in with It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. Sunny Black. It's Just Music with Sicko Entertainment. My homeboy. All love, cuz. Hey, yo. What up? It's Rap God. Yo, dude, it's the boy Tony, man. Oh, it's your loud boy, and you're watching It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. Watch it or die. He's like a track meet. Legend in the game, bro. You need to pay homage. I catch one out of nowhere to the head like Bonnie. I rock it like Eric Gordon. I'm bouncing like Barry Gordon. I lock and tell your organs in alphanumeric order I drop it like Randy Orton Try me and I'll Alright sickos Zuka here Time to cut the bullshit It's time for It's Just Music with LB Sickney Now I know something technical is gonna go wrong during this video Just about every episode has a fuck up And if you can catch it Write it down in the comments Enjoy the show Whoop whoop Your fucking couch has titties Furry titties Every little nip nips. Yep, yep. What up, y'all? LB Sickney making another video for my sickos, and today I got a guest on the show again. What's up, man? G Money right here. What up, sickos? Woo woo. If y'all uh, are a longtime fan of my music, you'll remember him on songs with me. We're about to play three of those. Uh, you know what I'm saying? As tradition of the show, let's play the first track, man. You know, this is my favorite song with you and I uh, on the same track. You know what I'm saying? This is Shut Up. With me, him, and, uh... The bitch. What you want to call him? It's on you, bro. Your show. That's rife, dog. <laughs> he said the bitch. <laughs> Team Ninth Wonder. Wonder. Sickle E and T. LB. Rife. G Money. Yeah. Step into the mic like, what's up? Stepping on the same dress to her bed and shut up. Bitch, shut the fuck up, just shut up. Bitch, shut the fuck up, just shut up. Step into the mic like, what's up? Stepping on the same dress to her bed and shut up. Bitch, shut the fuck up, just shut up. Shut the fuck up, just shut up Stepping on the mic, I'm about to kill it Drilling rush, baby, I can feel it 
kill a flow, cut the ration hoes, cut off the ways, man, them haters gotta go, higher than the moon is long, strong, I've been at it way too long, I'm only getting out of slicker than an out of shorty, said I'll make you holler for a dollar, watching out until you take a shower, looking kind of ratchet, man, that pussy's probably sour, no cap, isn't, isn't that how you say it now, you wait a minute, yeah, I'm talking about you new school rappers, go ahead and turn the page, no matter where you at, where you be, I'm on that ass, like I see. Man, my present is enticing Raise the static, call it lightning strike I hate it down, call it striking As the money is arriving In this music business, man, I am surviving Yeah, in this music, man, I am surviving Yeah Step into the mic like, what's up? Stepping on the scene, dress, doing friends and shut up Bitch, shut the fuck up, just shut up Bitch, shut the fuck up, just shut up Step into the mic like, what's up? Stepping on the scene, dress, doing friends and shut up Bitch, shut the fuck up, just shut up Bitch, shut the fuck up, just shut up Story of my life and I've been coming up hard the Streets tough like life, so you shanks on the yard Shit, and I ain't starting the day, I ain't starting to play. I keep back and parlay. If you don't stand for something, then you'll be falling in line, losing your life. Mm, yeah, you be buying them lies. I'm the baddest ever did it, ever done it, and shit. While I'm strapped to, got you better get me your clips. Once it toes are then incinerated, burn them to crisp. Twitch your whole joke backwards, leave your ass with a lift. Sickest motherfuckers spitting lyrics, call them up quick. Diarrhea of the mouse, cause I be spitting the shit. Sick. Running trains on your chick when you're unapologetic Yeah, I meant it, yeah, I said it Going hard, where's our credit? This industry's pathetic Taking over, sympathetic, empathetic Copacetic, go against this, you'll regret it With our sickness, you should spread it No mask, COVID-19 Yeah, it's kind of frightening Like the crash of lightning Trinosaurus Rex, hear the roar, feel the rumble Anyway, well, on the beat Sick of E.A.T. and Zuka mix the shit So you know the sound is sick of me Your I guess it's thick and need you stop with all your Bickering, pathetic, all your smickering Secrets are your whispering Step into the mic like, what's up? Stepping on the scene, trash, doing and shut up Bitch, shut the fuck up, just shut up Bitch, shut the fuck up, just shut up Step into the mic like, what's up? Stepping on the scene, trash, doing and shut up Bitch, shut the fuck up, just shut up Bitch, shut the fuck up, just shut up Oh no that now that you uh fuck man I gotta play a fucking ad. Hey yo, messing with this life of yours, it's like laying in a bed of broken glass or knives and swords or trying to pick a fight with Thor. Tried a lot of different strains of weed, but I would like some more. Back up in the days, I'd never got up in a fight before. Freestyling really ain't the shit, y'all need to write some more so y'all can get an interview with TJ Super Hype for sure. It's Lil Busy, aka Lil Busy TV, man, and y'all know who y'all rocking with, man. It's just music with Sick ENT, my nigga. Sick O E N T dot com. Make sure y'all slap in with my boy, man, and y'all know Lil Busy tuned in. Appreciate you, man. That's pretty dope. I didn't even have to tell him what to do. Do you see that shit? Yeah, that's how you know you've been doing shit forever, man. Hey, hey, come on, man. Hey, man. It's a pleasure to be here, man. And like I said, y'all, it's just music. And you rocking with Sicko ENT, man. Y'all know what it is. Sicko ENT, man. This is a great guy, man. Great interview. Great podcast, man. He asks beautiful questions. So, yeah, y'all got my word on that, man. So now that you're uh, out of prison and shit, yeah. and it's been a couple years since you heard that, what do you think? I think I could have did 10 times better, but not bad for the first time I ever recorded, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't flatter me. I will say this. My metaphors are still on point. <laughs> my flow is still on point. Just not giving enough time to really sit down and write to something. You can't really write anything with substance. Uh, 
which we never really had a lot of time to sit down and write shit because we always had bullshit going on with outside of what we was trying to do in the studio. Yeah, that's facts. So what first got you into music, man? This is G Money, by the way. Yup, G Money, uh, formerly known as G Money, uh, representing John Doe nowadays. But uh, what got me into music, man, was was emotion, my own feelings, uh, and music was an outlet for those feelings. I could feel certain songs and and I could relate to them and I felt like a way for me to speak my emotion was through music because you know just like I know people that have mental health issues it's hard to sit down and talk about shit so we release our emotion our anger our aggression our pain all that through our music through our poetry or you know through fucking bleach stains on your t-shirt yeah, some people can't handle bleach. It's one step above just making it. They right. try to do too much and wind up with bleach stains. Bleach stains on their t-shirts. You gotta hate it. It is what it is, man. Yeah, you know what'll fix that? What's that? If you lick my butthole. This motherfucker. <laughs> the question is simple. You've got the keys to the car, yet you decide to walk. Why is that? Why is there a car, door open, full tank of gas, keys in the ignition, GPS coordinates locked in to the destination? Why do you choose to take the harder road? You see, at first I was thinking maybe the answer is it's more admirable to take the harder road. But I've learned to realize that the answer is my talent is so great that I shouldn't have to get into the car to do the work, to do the keys in the ignition and drive to the destination. No, 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 no. I should be able to be carried to my destination. As I'm walking, someone should want to pick me up, take me to the destination because I am that good. Where they do that at? You're living in a fantasy land. That's the problem with a lot of the content creators today, whether you're a rapper or a singer, music producer, movie director, podcaster, influencer, whatever you are, for whatever reason, you got all the tools to your disposal, but for whatever reason, you're not using them because you feel like you don't have to use them. Newsflash, we live in an entire new age. And it's a, look, social media changed what you're used to. The pandemic buried <laughs> what you're used to. It is a new day, it's a new age. Record labels for you artists aren't just gonna come and see something and be, you know what, let's take it, let's build it up, let's put all this around it, let's take the time, let's develop it. No, they're looking for the people who are doing it themselves because now you have the tools to do it yourself. We got to get to a place where we put ourselves in positions to win. And the way that you put yourself in position to win is getting inside the car. Turn the key in the ignition. Take advantage of that full tank of gas in them GPS coordinates and get to your destination. If you wanna win, this is what you gotta do. We got all the platforms in the world for you to take you to that destination. Take this journey with me. I want you to come into this as you are so you can come out of this elevated. Blaze It Up Radio. Signature Series Network, Ninth Wonder Magazine, Muse IQ. It's all for y'all. So you got the keys in your hand. Don't choose to walk.
You need, how many books you read while you're locked up? Every one of them. Yeah. Not that one though. What's up with that one? You don't know who this is? Bananas. Purple. Purple, Purple ones too. Uh -huh. Well, if you, Jason Weber adopted birth into a dysfunctional family, scared, bullied, and living with a crippling stutter. His life seems hopeless until one day he sees a tiny little black dude he heals on television. He said it a lot better than that, though. Right, okay. Uh, there's something ma magnetic about this man named Prince, and Jason starts to find a way to navigate through the world with Prince's music as a guiding light. From the newsroom to the journalistic world, to the boardrooms of politics, to sharing stages with Insane Clown Posse, the magic of Prince helps his troubled youth, this troubled young man, Get through the thing called life. Uh, yeah. You know. Well, don't phonics work for me. Uh, I will say this. Uh, Prince is a fucking phenomenal artist. Shout out to Prince. One of the greatest fucking guitarists to ever live. In my personal opinion. I'm going to have to read that, bro, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's a really good book, man. Uh, I plug it all the time for Jason. Uh, you guys need to go get this book. So let's talk about some shit, man. What's up? Uh, so I guess we got to clear some air. I guess people feel like you and I got beef or something, or you felt like we had beef, or I don't know what to deal with. I just that. cut everybody off. I, I ain't got beef with nobody, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Yeah, so, so that everybody knows, we cool. Yeah. I don't know. If anybody had that misconstrued, we're going to clear the air on that today. Uh, this man has never done nothing but good by me. Uh, he knows where I stand on my music as, as my music. I make my music because I have feelings that I want to get out. And if there are people out there that want to hear that and feel it and it makes them strive to be better or do better, that's what I look for. I don't need money out of this. I don't need recognition out of this. I, I do think this. where the confusion comes in, bro, is like in my movie, for example, uh, I said things like, the other reason I ever worked with you was because you were G Money's homie. Or not G Money's G's. You were Rife's homie. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I think that's where the confusion comes in. They think that just because I'm not, like, on. When I'm on speaking terms with Rife, obviously, I just had him on my podcast, but we're not on, like, making music terms. You know what right, I'm saying? right. Yeah, and as far as Rife and I go, Rife and I go back a little ways, but I've known this man longer than I've known Rife. Not on a personal level, but known him, and we've been around one another. The difference is, Rife and I got on a more personal level for a while, and it took me a while to find out who he really was. You already knew that, apparently. Yeah. And, you know, and I respect whatever choices you made in your life regarding him, and it took me a little longer to make those same choices. You know, him and I never really messed around on the music tip anyway until you and I started messing around. And then him and I and you jumped on a couple of things together or whatever. I always could tell with him the music thing wasn't um, in here anyway. It was always in his pocket. That's yeah. where he came from, the music shit. He came out of his pocket with it. He was looking to fill him up. So, me, I've never been on that. You either, really. You know, that's probably something that you and I both... Uh, are drawn to one another because of because of our love for music period and what it means to us and why we make it so now that we've got that in the air i can feel a change in the atmosphere yeah man um i'm about to kill that cat yeah yeah murder, murder. anybody want a cat bro you can have it for free and and just so peter knows he's joking that was a joke no cats were harmed in the making of this video did you hear the microwave just go off I think our cat's ready. I meant turkey's ready. <laughs> yeah. Let's play another track or an ad or whatever the hell. Like, fuck off. Yeah, something's got to be played. So, uh, we're about to play... Smoke too damn much. We're about to play LB Sydney and Ride G Money, Divas, music video. And then we're going to talk about it. And bore you with my podcast. Yeah, my stupid face, too. Stupid looking face! <laughs> G Money LB by Sickle Land T. G Money LB by Sickle Land T. 
You see me in the spot, I'm getting towed up. The room is starts to spin, I'm about to throw up. Throw up. Boy, you talking shit, I'm about to show up. Show up. I bet you get in stomp like show enough. Look at you now, look at my smile. You say that you hot, but you never deny. Soft ass cotton decay, you rotten. If I see your restless relief, I'm chopping. Talking of that shit, Janet Durby. Mopping your blood, no luck, but you're growing no glove. You think that you smart, but really you dumb. Why you gotta talk of the shit you do? Why you gotta come look man, fuck you? Fuck your mama, anyone that looks like you Despite you, fight you, anyone that's like you I'm the lightning that's tricking on the key on the kite loop Why you such a bitch? Took him to the cops, fucking knock you a snitch Motherfuckers talking like they want the ones When it comes to a man, they run Roll up to the spot, throw the one, two, three Then they drop, fucking with a real boss Take it to the top, never been a rap boss Move, take a stack, straight out the room Been playing cash bass as you swimming in your daddy's nut sack Pause, never hold back, lay him on the back Run up in the house, man, I been doing that Little Richie, you a bitch you can never be me. Every year, that's what you be. You a fuck boy, keep it up. And get touched, boy. G status, you a bluff, you ain't tough, boy. I'm a lion in the jungle, you the prey. I'm the realest, I don't play. G status, you a bluff, you ain't tough, boy. G status, you a bluff, you ain't tough, boy. You see me in the spot, I'm getting tow up. Tow up. The room is starts to spin, I'm about to throw up. Throw up. Boy, you talking shit, I'm about to show up. Show up. I bet you get in stomp like show enough. You see me in the spot, I'm getting tow up. Tow up. The room is starts to spin, I'm about to throw up. Throw up. Boy, you talking shit, I'm about to show up. Show up. I bet you get in stomp like show enough. Run through the machine. Sicko got a lot, Kobe gripping the clip. Two more shots and I'm ready to deal. Got my tongue tied from licking the clip. Bitch, you better back up, give me some space. If you wanna try me, I'ma give you a taste. Lick, 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 but you better not waste. Wind up with this shit all over your face. Bitch, I'm a bad dude. Fuck what you're going through. I'ma kill you and your whole damn crew. Stop, drop, bitch, you better roll. Told you motherfuckers that we under control. Leave a bitch ass with both eyes swole. To your girlfriend, that a bitch on a pole. I met him in prison, I thought it was kidding. Talking to the CEOs, that shit is forbidden. And we're fighting, I'm winning, the battle on the ceiling I'm telling everybody you're sick of three villain With just one glut, you heard three gunshots There's guns in a pen, what you think, why not? Dirty CEOs hidden in plain clothes So give me the dope, now my bug is overdosed You fucker with the wrong one, now you toast Butter on my bread, cocaine in my nose Did I shoot him up? No one even knows Between me and God, it's a story I've told Why you so nosy, wanna know about me? G money, LB, rice, sickle, we and T Why you so nosy, wanna know about me? G money, LB, rice, sickle, we and T Between me and God, it's a story I've told you see me in the spot, I'm getting tow up. Tow up. The room is starts to spin, I'm about to throw up. Throw up. Boy, you talking shit, I'm about to show up. Show up. I bet you getting stomp like show enough. You see me in the spot, I'm getting tow up. Tow up. The room is starts to spin, I'm about to throw up. Throw up. Boy, you talking shit, I'm about to show up. Show up. I bet you getting stomp like show enough. So let's play one. Let's play one. In order to become a ninja master, you must possess strength, cunning, and... Got it. Tell him. A two liter stuck in the butt cheeks. In order to become a ninja master, you must possess strength, cunning, and a fat guy with girly hips. Also known as Andy Panda in the vast vocabulary of Shaggy Two Dope. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Want to do another one? Yeah, fuck yeah. This is fun. I gotta pick up another card though. The dead body man's lesser known cousin, Blank Man. A fake fatty, fat, a fake fatty, a fake fat titty bitch man. A fake fat titty bitch man. A batch of sour bitches man. Oh, I think that might get it. <laughs> we'll do one more and we'll move on. Alright. Chew, it's on you. Alright. When the FBI raided my home, they found two terabytes of blank on my hard drive and blank under the floorboards. Pick two cards. A serial killer clown with a sexy smile and gangbanger shooting dirty looks. <laughs> yeah. 
I can't beat that. Being around big butt uh, mannequins and wearing sunglasses at a cheap sausage fest. Hey, it's all fun games, so it ain't <laughs> fun or games. <laughs> we'll keep my deck right there. Yeah. There you go. So, um, let's talk about some shit, man. What's up, man? Are you and Rife still cool? Um, no, we had a couple words uh, about two, three weeks ago, and I don't know, man. I just can't deal with a fake person, man. Uh, no, yeah. Maybe you see where I'm at with it. I mean, I, I, love, I love him. Don't get me wrong, it's my boy, but at the same time, I don't want. Yeah, I don't hold animosity towards him, man, but I have to cut anybody off of my life that's not bringing positive energy to me. And, uh, you know, anybody that sits around and wallows in their own self pity, I can't tolerate that, man. Anybody that wants to get out of a situation can. Anybody that wants to change something in their life can. All it takes is a choice. That's it. I don't care if it's drug addiction. I don't care if it's poverty. I don't care if it's cheating, loyalty, lying, any situation in your life that holds you down. You control the choice to change. I mean, look at look at you, dude. You're doing good. We're a little proud of you. You know what I'm saying? You just got out the joint. No, oh, actually, I've some... been out since April. Right. You... Well, that's just getting out, dog. Right, that's so... almost half a year. Right. And congrats, because a lot of people are already <laughs> back in by now. You know? Yeah. Um, you're doing good. You made some bad choices. You you paid your consequences. Look, you already got your license. You pull up in my house with a car. You know what I'm saying? So, people can turn it around, right? People can turn it around in the blink of an eye, man. All I got to do is try. For sure. Uh, I don't know. He's, he's doing all right, though. I, I check up on him on Facebook and shit once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's always at home kicking up with his kids, so I respect that. Well, you know, that's what it says on Facebook. Right? You know. I like to check on when people face to face because then you really know what time it is. Every time I've called him, he's with his kid. Yeah, well, and that's good, man. That's what I want him to be. I want him to be working and taking care of his responsibilities, man. That's all I ever wanted for a man. You know, I got responsibilities that I got to take care of. And it's bad when a person is trying to fight you to even keep you from meeting those responsibilities. I respect the man that tries. You know, the man that's, especially a man that's, like, been in your position. I've seen a lot of people, I've, I've seen a lot in my life, dude, you know what I mean? I've seen people in your position that choose to just continue to be a bad person. Yeah. You know, really, let's be real. Oh, yeah, I've been a bad dude in my life, bro. Alcoholic, fuck people over, bully people around, push my weight around. That's not what life's about, man. Life is about helping people out. For real, give love even though you don't get it back because love is what vibrates the entire universe and makes it better. We can't live in a society where all we put out is hate and expect respect and love to come back to us. It's not going to. We're going to get back whatever we vibrate out. If we vibrate on a low frequency, we're going to get bullshit low frequency vibrations back. If we stay on a high frequency, man, and we vibrate good stuff, even if our life is in a bad place, man, it's going to come back to us. It does. That's how it works, man. It's just, I've seen it with my own eyes. That's how it works. So how do you feel about the diss I did to you in that video? I feel like everybody uh, everybody has a right to feel however they want to feel. I'll be honest with you. I didn't realize I was dissed. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's with the part where we're watching TV. I show this clip of you taking your... Um, it was Warren or something. Remember when we were outside the... Uh, yeah, when I was getting served my indictments. The, the joke the joke between the community has always been, oh, I'm so gangster. Let's, I'm gonna, let me go get my fucking indictment. Here, I'll kindly take my indictment. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, you gotta come get me. That, but look... I, <laughs> we were just standing there. I mean, I'm yeah. I'll give you that. But think about this. <laughs> How is that a diss, though, really? Like, I'm a G. I knew I had one. You know what I mean? Yeah. What the fuck do I care they, did they get me? Well, they didn't rush you that day. That's true. I'm just saying, like, That's and, true. <laughs> and at the end of the day, regardless whether they got me or didn't get me, I did my time for what I did, yeah. so I am a G. Yeah. Shit. Hey, and then, and honestly, I'm going to say it like Donald Trump said it, though. Even bad publicity is good publicity because it's free publicity. Absolutely. You put my face on the internet, though. <laughs> 
Absolutely. If or, you got views, I got views. Hey, facts. Uh, <laughs> that movie's at a thousand plays. You know what I'm saying? And it's been played down at the Floor Movie Festival this I, summer. That's what I heard. Shit. So, hey, a B movie is better than a C movie, right? Right. I'll take it. It's not a movie. It's a documentary. Hey, right? that's what I love better. The El- Documentaries are way better than movies. The shitty story of LB Sickening and Rife on YouTube at Signature Series Network under Juggle the World Network. Now, out. Go watch it. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, a real gangster with a fucking Arnold Palmer spike. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good way to tell your life story, you know what I mean? Just like LB and Rife, we came up abused, we came up neglected, we came up poor, we came up in places like this. Look at this, look at this place. This is Port Clinton, the hood. Oh, but they won't show you this on a the map. They're going to show you the lake and Cedar Point and the lighthouse and all that pretty shit. Coming from a town like Port Clinton is not the easiest. There's nobody here that, there's hardly anybody here that are, are dedicated to any kind of... Uh, they just don't have no ambition. Sicko. That's what this whole movement is about. Like, we get knocked down, we get back up. We want to be better. We're going to make ourselves better. But life ain't always pretty. This is the ghetto. This ain't pretty. Good Cali crud, AD in the wood. From across the map, can't find us in the hood. 24 of Bro, us, yeah. smoking purple runs. 24 of us, smoking purple plus plus. Good Cali crud, AD Oh, you go in any house in Port Clinton on the west side, you know where the bathroom is and both bedrooms. And if they got three, it's because they live in the, in the meadows in one of the bigger parts. Smoking purple Smoking on the finest self-made. Smoking on that lemonade. Smoking on that bank account. 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 Smoking on that
Defy it, can't get me to comply, pig Knock you off your high bridge I understand the anger range I've been white thug since like third grade If you're a racist, it's a shame Cause deep inside we're all the same Then tell me who's your black friend Cause I don't like no Africans And I don't like no Mexicans Or why you just don't fit in Fuck you racist bigot, fuck you hits Go suck a dick With your funny looking lights I'll treat you like a prison bitch How come quick, it's kinda sick Looks like the table switched Your pussy ass couldn't handle a day of where I've been Yeah, 12, I'm not a coward Where's your backup? Call your friends I don't care about your target Where they at when he was beat? Could've testified in court Seen it all, it's in the streets Get your knee up off his neck We'll protest if nothing's left I'd rather die than live in a world that's full of greed 30,000 for prison numbers Cops gamble, make them bleed I did time inside the pit for giving justice when said in Vigilante called anonymous It really makes a lot of sense I stand with my brothers in this war If you want peace, then give us what we want Cause we want justice in the streets He had a smile, he had a grin He took his life, he made it in Now you understand why we're fucking pissed off Pissed off, pissed off, pissed off the cops tell us to be quiet We've been quiet, it's time to start a riot When are violent, no more being silent Defy it, can't get me to comply, pig Knock you off your high The cops tell us to be quiet We've been quiet, it's time to start a riot When are violent, no more being silent Defy it, can't get me to comply, pig Knock you off your high bridge You want me to be quiet, I don't think that I can About to join them in the streets, yeah, it's time to take a stand But they've been robbing and stealing to get that piece of the pie Now there's bacon in the streets, trying to get me to comply Officer, officer, I am not resisting I said I can't breathe, but you just keep insisting I'm just trying to live my life, black, brown, and even white Everyone deserves a chance to turn it all around and do it right But we can't live our life if all you do is it's pulled us down. I've been shackled to them chains. I'm tired of being bound. It's going down. It's going down. Call up the president. The crime is clearly evident. Yeah, they got the evidence. The blacks is in the streets. No, that is not it. The whites is in the streets. Yeah, we bought a store. The mosh pit can't take it no more. It's got me pulling out my head. George just dies. Got a cop with a blank stare. This is tragic. And where's the justice? They treat us like this and wonder why they can't trust us. They bust us and even take us to jail. But they will never take my pride until they put me in hell. The system man, our country, man, it is crumbling. The politicians talk, but all I'm hearing is their mumbling. And I can't take it no more. Just let me state it. It's time for a revolution, man. I'm related. Equality. I've had a lot of comments about it, like shit like, you're white, you shouldn't even talk about that subject, and uh, uh, shit like that. Those are haters, and I don't really give a shit what they got to say. Uh, you're just being ignorant. And <laughs> I feel like anybody that would speak out against someone speaking out against it, right? <laughs> obviously, they're probably hey, cops yeah. or something. That's some bullshit. Yeah, somebody trying to start shit. So check it out, man. I got to do this little thingy thing right here real quick because, uh, you know, Rat Patch, this show is sponsored by Rat Patch. Rat Jeez. Patch. Got to get you one, man. Yeah, so this is what these are, right? Say you're smoking a blunt, you're smoking a joint, whatever. Happens all the time. And your shit break, right? Shit's broken. A lot of people, they'll go and they'll, like, try to fix their shit. Maybe it's cracked or whatever. They'll try to fix their shit, but they'll, like, rip off... This little piece of one of their whole zigzags or papers or whatever, and uh, waste waste half the paper. You know what I'm saying? Well, if you yeah. got these laying around, boom. Check it out. Put these in there. I give a little licky lick first. Yeah, okay. you will. You definitely will. A little lick lick, a little lick lick, and then you just roll it. Right. Man. I roll it. Wrap the patch. Wrap the patch, dog. Right? That's yeah. how I do it. Right? Hey, look. And, and FYI, this was my last cigarette, my old lady's last cigarette. So, Rat Patch, we love you. Thank you. Because if it didn't work, she would have killed me. <laughs> Just saying. And that's real talk. Thank you, Rat Patch. Oh, <laughs> do that again. Thank you, Rat Patch. <laughs> Hey guys, 
Wet Patch back again with another use for our fantastic bandages. Here I have a cigar pipe that is broken and I was given the challenge to fix it. So here we go. As you see, I'm applying our brown papers for this example and I'm just replacing and putting together this pipe as I go. Remember, you don't have to use the whole wrap patch. You can tear it in half, like I'm doing here, and just use what you need at that moment. That way you don't have to waste. This was a very fun project for me, and I just wanted to share it with you all so that you can see the power of the wrap patch. Look at that, perfectly fixed, like it was never broken. Get yours now. Like, share, and follow. Thank you. Ratpatch.com. It's pretty cool, right? Cool little product. Fuck yeah, like my zigzag. Zigzag sucks, Rat Patch rocks. There it is. Hold on. Hold on. What time is it? Two. Two and a half hours. Like, I said, give me a cigarette, babe. He said, I ain't got but one left. I said, babe, we're shooting a video. We need the cigarette. We're doing an ad. She said, what? Yeah, man. Such is life. You, I mean, you prove it to her. That's mm -hmm. funny. Yeah, it was we got a video. It's literally on video. <laughs> so check it out, man. I made this song around the time that I, like, shut all y'all out of my life. You know what I'm saying? I had to turn the switch off. You know what I'm saying? Just it is what it is. Work through it. Yeah. Look, it's burning in that rat patch. Can you taste that rat patch? No. No? Smith mm -hmm. tastes just like a regular cigarette, right? Fuck yeah. Pretty dope. Yeah. Well, if you ask the motherfucker, I might. Man. Anyway, man, I made this song called uh, Where You At, though. Yeah. Right? Where you at now? I got to fight one of my really close friends. Real bad fist fight. I lost. It is what it is. Win something to lose something. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so all that combined and shit, I came up with this. Check it out. It's fucking incredible. I'm really high off this edible. This marijuana got me so high, it's gross, but I'm eating a vegetable. That's what I like to do. Get stoned like every day. I got these dabs and mix that shit with flour, honey, oil, bomb hits. I'm stoned for hours. The best part, I think, when it really comes to smoking, is having all your friends in a circle high and joking. Good times, I reminisce on the rhymes. No, this ain't no Compton, but around here it gets popping. Think about all the homies I lost from the drug game. I tried to stop them. I was drunk when I wrote this, so really don't quote this. But every day I think of suicide, inside I wanna die. I smoke this blood and I get high, I guess it makes me feel better. Cloudy skies and stormy weather, lose a track of my thoughts again. Hit my dab pen, I'm getting stoned, my friend. Where you at, though? Where you, where you at, though? Said you was my best friend. Where you, where you at, though? Where you at, though? Where you, where you at, though? Said you was my best friend. Where you, where you at, though? Where you at, though? Where you, where you at, though? Said you was my best friend. Where you, where you at, though? Where you at, though? Where you, where you at, though? Said you was my best friend. Where you, where you at, though? Me and Mike started smoking a lot when we was kids. What that have turned into something? I don't even know who he is. Most people say marijuana ain't no stepping stone to get stoned off some shit that'll make, make your body cold. Uh. I'm here to testify, I see it with my own two eyes. There's men that wanna get drunk and high, there's men that wanna die. This an everyday problem, I guess this is how we cope. Take my pill off my dress, I write my suicide note. I'm getting drunk again, I'm getting drunk again. I don't think about my life when I was headed to the pins. Little William didn't understand when I walked by. I'm gonna see the seal first, I'm in prison cause I'm violent. Those people in my family, they can eat my fucking asshole. Same way families treat me like I'm second class, though. Thoughts 
I shouldn't think about it till the smoke. I forget my enemies. Most of them are high on dope. What a pity. Where you at though? Where you, where you at though? Said you was my best friend. Where you, where you at though? Where you at though? Where you, where you at though? Said you was my best friend. Where you, where you at though? Where you at though? Where you, where you at though? Said you was my best friend. Where you, where you at though? Where you at though? Where you, where you at though? Said you was my best friend. Where you, where you at? Where you at? What'd you think about that, man? Huh? I feel that. I like that. Yeah? Yeah. Where you at, though? Hey, but what's, what I really like about it, for real, is because you was like, oh, this is kind of like my diss song kind of type shit. But it's not really, though. It's just where your mindset was. No, it's not a diss at all. It's just... It's, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more. It's really just more like, yo, I'm, I'm still here smoking. Where you at? Like, motherfucker said you'd be down where y'all at. I, I said I was going to do this, and here I'm still doing this. Where you at, though? Right. I feel it. I like that. And that mellow, that mellow. Right. Uh, right. It's like it's, if you listen to the lyrics, it's like it's real depressing lyrics, kind of. Yeah. Right. But, but, the, it, but the melody and, and tone of it is like real uppity and shit. Yeah. So it's like. Contradictory. Yeah. I man, like it. Man, I'm working on this album right now with the man that made the beat for Homies, Homies, throwing up the clown love signs. Yeah. Talk about my homies, homies. homies. Like. He's also on Zug Island and shit. Yeah. Say by love. I Mike, can't say. Mike P. Yeah, Mike P, dog. Woo woo. Maybe I'll get you on one of the tracks. Uh, That'd be tight. No, I'm planning on doing a whole album with him. He's down. Uh, 16 tracks equals a pound. Feel me? <laughs> so. Yeah. I'll drop 16. Bro, it's a dream come true. You see my ghost sitting in my chair turning it around? Uh-huh. Getting ready to produce that shit. So let's check this out, man. Hit play on that shit. This is me and Blaze Hunter, my life. Let's go. I'm not playing a fucking ad because I don't want to. Working on this rap shit, a gift and a curse today. I'm feeling the worst. I spent 22 hours on this song in this video for 22 likes. I go hard, they don't hear me though. I've tried other jobs, I've worked other gigs, but it never works out. And I got five little kids. I feel like I'm a failure. My son even laughs. I'm not his favorite rapper, and he said my song is trash. I just wanna get high, my bills are stacked to the sky. In my soul, there's this feeling, and I just wanna die. Tell me why does it hurt like this? All the time I spend on it, birthdays that I've missed. My family thinks all I care about is music shit. Little do they know this for them and I will never quit. I can't generational wealth. I make these songs for you that collect dust on the shelf. On the shelf. On the shelf. On the shelf. I can't generational wealth. I make these songs for you that collect dust on the shelf. Wasted my life. I wasted my life. This is one of those days where I feel. Since I wrote my first rhyme song was called Mrs. Hollywood, it changed my whole life. I was in it for the fame, only cared to get my bread up. Until I was asked to write a song called Keep Your Head Up. Paula was in a coma, then Paula heard the song. Then Paula woke up and said them lyrics made her strong. From that point on, I knew God gave me a miracle. To touch and inspire these lives with something lyrical. Booth after booth, booth, session after session. Big stages, big crowds, man, my life was a blessing. But I was constantly stressing the fact that I'm still broke. Rappers getting deals before me 
when they rhymes are jokes. Some fast opened up a Nelly, Bayfront opened up a trick. Work with slip and slide, Def Jam, and still ain't got a hit. Did the dub tour with Luda across the United States. Nope, it's dope tour in Europe with Mario. It was great, but still, I was feeling like I was wasting my life. I ain't getting any younger, believing I miss my time. I be lying if I ain't say I had some of those days where I want to drop the mic, grab a bottle, and just say I'm wasting my life. I wasted my life. This is one of those days where I feel like I wasted my life. My life, my life, my life. Wasted my life, I've wasted my life. This is one of those days where I feel like I've wasted my life. My life, my life, my life. Wasted my life, I wasted my life. This is one of those days where I feel like I wasted my life. My life, my life, my life. Wasted my life, I wasted my life. This is one of those. Appreciate you getting on the show, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, that's kind of cool. I had two people on the couch in a row. It's fun. Mm-hmm. I don't like to overdo it with guests, but really? special occasion, man. Right. <laughs> that's what's up. I'm glad to give you some content, man. Get that shit out to you, viewers. Yeah, bro. Uh, you work on a track. That's what's up. Oh, he's saying you make another fucking video for my fucking sickos and always remember to fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah. It's Blaze Hunter, Knife Wonder. Yes, sir. We got LB Sick now. We got Lil Flip. Let's go. Ooh, yeah. I'm the realest to do this. I'm a G in these streets and you sweeter than cool whip. I'm a scholar to the game while most of your clueless. Crossing me, that would be foolish. Cause I'm a beast, I'm a dog. I'm a problem. I'm a sicko. I'm a sicko in these streets. I'm a boss. I got them. Sicko, we and T-Nice. Yo, what's happening, y'all? This wishbone. Both of us are the fucking army. Man, you already know what it is, man. It's Red Rat Chucky. This is a big cherry bear. You already know what it is, man. This is nonsense. Yo, this is Jay Bazaar. And you're watching It's Just Music. Yo, it's your boy Ashby, the king of Cleveland. He's down the cry. What's up? You got Razor Ray and Motown Rage rising up angry and St. Clown Posse. This crazy, crazy rock and roll show. AKA Dog Genius. You're watching It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. Yo, it's Hair Trigger. And it's just music. Hey, what's up? I'm Tom Putnam. I'm one of the directors of the ICP documentary, The United States of Insanity. It's like, this is Rock and Rob. AKA Chris Nonsense. AKA Nonsense is Door Genius. And you're watching just this music. Stick on entertainment. If you ain't on it, get on it. Don't be a dumb motherfucker. It's just music. And you know, when I'm vibing, when I'm vibing out, man, you know, I gotta watch. When I'm really watching these interviews and these podcasts, man. You know, man, it's just music with Sicko Entertainment, man. That's what I'm paying attention to. And you're listening to It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. It's AKA. Nah, I'm just playing. You already know what it is, man. Listen, we are listening to, and of course, freaking watching It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. With Sicko ENT. Bang, 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 bang. Guys, this is Waycast. It's Just Music, and you're watching Sicko ENT with Signature Series now. The Sicko ENT on the Signature Series Network. Hey, it's Alex Jaffe, and you're watching It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. You're watching It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. Tap in. What's cracking, everybody? It's your boy Bobby Mars, and you are in tune with It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. What's going on, y'all? AC Killer in the building. Fire all the heat, man. You already know, man. We're turning up, man. Very rich entertainment. Harmony House. Yo, this is Diesel Water. And you watching It's Just Music with Sicko Entertainment. Then in Miles Productions, you watching It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. Hey, yay, stay motherfucking Denny.
What's up, y'all? It's Jimmy the Gunner, man. And y'all tuned in with It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. Sunny Black. It's Just Music with Sicko Entertainment. My homeboy. All love, cuz. Hey, yo. What up? It's Rap God. What's good? It's the boy, Tony Man. Oh, it's your loud boy, and you're watching It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. Watch it or die. Feels like a track meet. Legend in the game, bro. You need to pay homage. I catch one out of nowhere to the head like bondage. I rock it like Eric Gordon. I'm bossy like Barry Gordon. I lock in and tell your organs in alphanumeric order. I drop it like Randy Orton. Try me and I'll be- All right, sickos. Zuka here. Time to cut the bullshit. It's time for It's Just Music with LB Sickney. Now I know something technical is going to go wrong during this video. Just about every episode has a fuck up. And if you can catch it, write it down in the comments. Enjoy the show. Whoop, whoop.